right. Out of Houston, USA, Kanye West to Joel Olstein. They are attempting to take prayer out of schools. So uh, the rapper Kanye West met up with Joel Osteen. Um, he is one of the biggest mega preachers um, ever. He's in Houston, Texas. He preaches at the Lakewood Church. Um, yeah, so so Kanye visited, and they had a little chat. And on stage, Kanye asks everyone to be quiet because God speaks through him. Oh um, and he didn't want anybody in the audience to be speaking while God was speaking through him so that the words could just flow easier. Uh, so he was, he was aghast at the fact that <laughs> they've taken forced prayer out of school. And he says, we need to bring forced prayer back into our schools. Um, mind you, this is from God. Okay. It's straight from God in his mouth. Um, he says, the more and more this country follows Christ and sets example that we are a Christian country, you know, they are attempting to take prayer out of schools. When you remove the fear and love of God, you create fear and love of everything else. But let me break that down, not in a negative way, but a positive way. Reinstate the fear and love of God and eliminate the fear and love of everything else. I feel like Kanye just wants to be God. Didn't he say he's God? He said, I am God. And I think he, Did he? yeah, he way back, like how, and now I think that, I think he just wants to really be worshipped and he just using every different, I'm not sure actually, but, but this is, what do you guys think about his new love for Christianity and Jesus? Is he going to bring, is he going to make Christianity cool again in the United States? No, no, he's not. But what he, his ultimate agenda I don't know if anyone has been following Kanye news. I typically don't, but it's been showing up in my news feed a lot lately. Um, he wants to run for president in 2024. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's been hanging out with Trump. Um, everyone has, has seen that. So this isn't a secret. Uh, and he's also seen how much the Christians have done for Trump. So if the Christians, you know, were the backbone of the Trump right. presidency, they're going to be the backbone of the Kanye presidency. If he starts preaching like he is, he's doing great. And and I'm sorry, but America seems so dense when it comes to what we need for I mean, our, our government. Uh, yeah, you it, get, it wouldn't shock yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, he has everything going for him. He has a celebrity st status. He now has a Christian angle going for him. But I, I feel like he's m very much like Kanye is very like my, uh, like Trump in a way that he just has to be not just the center at of attention, but the number one center of attention. Like nobody, yeah. like anybody outshining you in any way is just bothers you. you know what and I mean? there have been a lot of people that have been pointing out lately, Old Scratch mentioned it here in a comment, but uh, other reporters have also been hinting around the fact that they really think Kanye needs to get some mental health yeah. help. Um, and I mean, every, everyone should at one point or another, but I think that he definitely might have something going on too. Okay, but but do you guys think like why do you think he's not gonna like is this not a dangerous way of making Christian like he's a a huge pop culture idol and he's now found Jesus apparently is he not going to make Christian like would Generation Z people you know are they going to become like because we're trying to reach out to Generation Z and we're trying to do our activism on Generation Z. With very, very, very few limited resources. And we always thought that un the competition is very unfair and one-sided against us. And even with all the comp even with the very few limited resources that we have, atheist activists have made a lot of progress against, mm, you know, the empires that are Islam and Christianity uh, in the past decade. The difference that they have made in the United States, Ireland, Israel, and other places has been amazing. But this, you know, not just demographic-wise, but also politically, um, taking out blasphemy laws, taking out all these other, you know, nonsense, removing the role of religion, and we have done that with very limited resources. And now, not only did Christians have all the money that they already have, now they have this guy with all his following all of a sudden on their side. Is that like? 
is that going to make like especially generation z for us is the most important generation is it going to make our job a lot more difficult if this is the if now they have some you know pop culture icons on their side what do you guys think? honestly i think not Why? um i have i have great hopes for generation z but i i honestly do believe that they're at a state right now, most of them, not most of them, but a, a huge chunk of them are rejecting religion just outright. Um, so I think it's going to take a lot more. And, and Kanye's kind of old. I mean, he has been an icon, obviously, for like, what, the past 20 years. Um, but he's he's getting old. And uh, the the youngins we have coming up now, they're not they're not really putting up with a lot of shit. Um, from what I've seen, from what we've seen from what Gre Greta, um, and, you know, just a lot of other, you know, younger people there. I don't think, I don't think this is going to fly. I think that if he does use this successfully, it's going to be on the people who already are religious, um, that might turn to Kanye, but I don't think that he is going to turn people that aren't religious to him. By the way, uh, can I, can I speak for Gen Z? Yeah, go on. We yeah, are. so as as Gen Z myself, uh, most of us, I would say most of us or a huge chunk of us are not really Kanye West fans. And I think uh, many of us, even many religious uh, people of Gen Z, they're rejecting Kanye West and calling him stupid for whatever he's doing right now. Yeah. So yeah, have hopes. I hope if he runs for president, it becomes such a huge embarrassment for him. Uh, but let me see, the top comment actually responds to something that we should have responded to because uh, his quote is, they are attempting to take prayers out of school and Hannah is the top comment response to that quote, Hannah is saying, you can pray in public schools on your own terms. You just can't force anyone to pray in public schools. I don't understand how, that, how, that's, difficult to, how that's a difficult concept. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> they're like, oh, they're banning... This is so, like, yeah, we have to, like, always, thank you, Hannah, because we always have to point out that prayer has not been banned in public schools. Anybody could pray in public schools anytime they want. The only thing that has been banned is you forcing every kid to pray. That has... Well, here's, yeah. here's the deal, is I think that she just read the title of this because the title is shortened. Okay. So that makes it um, less, but he actually is talking about forced prayer. Not just prayer, but forced prayer. Well, that's what. Well, that makes it more accurate. What Hannah said. What do you mean? Like, Kanye is saying. Hannah, Hannah saying that okay. you know because she's saying that Kanye is saying they're attempting to take prayer out of schools. Right. That's not actually what Kanye said. That's just how they shortened the title. Kanye is upset that they're taking forced prayer out of school. He what? wants to bring forced prayer back into school that's what hannah is saying hannah is saying that he is wrong like because like okay so okay hannah i think is pointing out that you know what christians want is forced prayer not prayer right i think that's what she's trying to say maybe okay let me let me rephrase this right so a lot of people have to understand that what christians are demanding in schools like as the, as the more accurate quote suggests, Ali, is not pr prayers back in school because prayers never left schools. Any Christian or any Muslim can right. pray whenever they want. What Christians want is forced prayer on people that don't even want to pray, right? So when they say bring prayers back in, so it's good that what you're saying is good that he, at least he's being more direct with his uh, quote. He's being more honest about it. Because what they want is not prayers back in school. What they want is we get to tell your kids, your non-Christian kids, or kids that don't want to pray, we want to be able to force all your kids to pray. That's what they want, right? And we're going to be like, no, go F yourselves, right? Again, I, I wish I could swear on these shows because it's not authentic when I don't swear. It's been hard. Not it's been hard. Doing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, 
cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.